Hello everyone. In continuation with the inverse Laplace transform, we'll deal today with the second shifting theorem. So, by the end of the session, you'll be able to state the second shifting theorem for ILT and you'll be able to evaluate the ILT using the second shifting theorem. So, the statement goes as if the Laplace inverse of f of s is f of t, then the Laplace inverse of e to the power minus a is f of s is equals to g of t, where this g of t has been defined in terms of f of t. That is g of t is equals to f of t minus a for t greater than a and it is 0 for t less than a. Now this is uh, again can be written it as Laplace inverse of e to the power minus a is f of s is equals to instead of writing this g of t here, we can write it directly in terms of the definition of g of t. That is, this is equals to f of t minus a, t greater than a and it is 0 for t less than a. This can also be written as Laplace inverse of e to the power minus a is f of s is equals to f of t minus a into u of t minus a. And this u of t minus a is nothing but Heaviside's unit step function. Uh, if you would like to go ahead with this, uh, the Laplace transform of this, so it as I have told you, uh, Laplace and Laplace inverse, so L and L inverse, they are the inverses of each other. So if you know the Laplace transform of particular function, it would be easy for you to go ahead with the Laplace inverse. So just go and uh, watch my video on the U of T minus A, that is a Heaviside's unit step function. That means expressing the given function in terms of unit step function. And this is known as the second shifting theorem. For example, uh, if we wanted to find out the inverse Laplace transform of e to the power minus 2s upon s minus 3, then uh, we need to first identify the f of s. So whatever it is e to the power minus 2s, except this e to the power minus 2s, whatever the function remaining here in this function f of s, that would be my f of s as. So it is s minus 1, so 1 upon s minus 3, sorry, 1 upon s minus 3, so it is nothing but Laplace inverse of f of s that is 1 upon s minus 3 is e to the power 3t and as we know that this is what is Laplace inverse of e to the power minus a s f of s is equals to f of t minus a into u of t minus a. That means whatever the function I have got it here at this t, t I need to replace it as t minus a and therefore the Laplace inverse of the given function e to the power minus 2s into f of s, f of s is this 1 by 1 upon s minus 3 is equals to e to the power 3 times t been replaced as t minus 2, right, t minus 2 into u of t minus 2. So, this is what is the Laplace inverse of this given function e to the power minus 2s upon s minus 3 is equals to e to the power uh, 3 times uh, t minus 2 into u of t minus 2. Leave the answer here only, it is not a problem. No need to even sim simplify further. Let us go ahead with one more, uh, find the inverse Laplace transform of e to the power minus s, 1 minus square root of s upon s cube. Therefore, as I have told you, e to the power minus s, except this e to the power minus s would be my f of s. So, f of s is 1 plus square root of 3 by s. Just separating this uh, numerator here, it is 1 upon s cube plus 1 upon s to the power s uh, 5 by 3. How this uh, second term had come 1 upon 5 by 3? So, it is second term, it is square root of, so square root means 1 upon uh, 2 s to the power 1 by 2 upon s cube, which is equals to 1 upon s to the power 3 minus 1 by 2 and therefore it is 1 upon s to the power 5 by 2. So, it is 3 into 2 is 6, 6 minus 1 by 2 is 5 by 2 and which is equals to t. Now, I, I can directly find out the Laplace inverse of this function, Laplace inverse of 1 upon s cube. s cube means s to the power 2 plus 1. So, the value of n is equals to 2, which is equals to t to the power n, that is t square upon 2 factorial. So, this this fun, this value has come it, uh, come it from this uh, Laplace transform of t to the power n is equals to n factorial upon s to the power n plus 1 and therefore Laplace inverse of, sorry, F Laplace inverse of 1 upon s to the power n my plus 1 is equals to n factor. So, this would be what, what, you, what would be this? This is t to the power n upon n factorial, right? And therefore, this is t square by 2 factorial plus t to the power. Now, this is s to the power 5 by 2. 
so uh, this for this instead of this uh, gamma here uh, n factorial we have just used it here gamma of n plus 1 similarly this would be here this would be here gamma of so this n factorial is gamma of n plus 1 right and therefore it is s to the power 5 by 2 so s to the power 5 by 2 i can write down write down sorry it's it's a 5 over here so it can be written as s to the power 3 by 2 plus 1 uh, yeah it is yeah it's a 3 by 2 plus 1 so n the value of small n in this case is equals to 3 by 2 and therefore it is t to the power 3 by 2 upon gamma of 5 by 2 right because it's it's gamma of n plus 1 and therefore it's 5 by 2 which is equals to t square by 2 plus t to the power 3 by 2 and gamma of 5 by 2 because we know that the gamma of n plus 1 is equals to n into gamma of n n into gamma of n and therefore it is 3 uh, uh, t to the power 3 by 2 upon this 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 you can just uh, find it out like gamma of 5 by 2 is equals to 3 by 2 into gamma of 3 by 2 right because n into gamma of n right which is equals to 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 and gamma of 1 by 2 is nothing but square root of pi and this 3 by 2 1 by 2 some terms will get adjusted over here so it's 4 by 3 t to the power 3 by 2 upon square root of pi plus t square by 2 and which is equals to just by uh, uh, this is every t would be replaced as every t would be replaced as what is this e to the power minus s e to the power minus s and therefore i have to find it out f of t so this is what is i have got this is what is f of t we have got it here so this is f of t and this every t we have replaced as t minus a a in the present case is 1 therefore we have replaced every t here in this expression as t minus 1 so if you will observe this is t minus 1 t minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 and so on the rest of the terms would be same into u of t minus 1 in the multiplication because i have got is u into t minus a similarly here also we have done u into t minus uh, one more example we could go go ahead but it's, it's again a very important all the examples are important here so it's again as i've told you uh, except this e to the powers the remaining function would be my f of s so 1 upon s plus 4 to the power 5 by 2 so laplace inverse of f of s is e to the power minus 40 into laplace inverse of 1 upon s to the power 5 by 2 just now we have done that so how this e to the power minus 40 has come out because of the first shifting theorem right the previous uh, uh, series so it's uh, previous uh, session of this uh, uh, the session here that is a first shifting theorem inverse laplace transform of first shifting theorem have given me this result e to the power minus 40 because it's a plus 4 here so e to the power minus 40 has come out laplace inverse of 1 upon s to the power 5 by 2 and similarly what we have done the um, the argument in the previous step it is same previous uh, example actually it's e to the power minus 40 t to the power 3 by 2 gamma of 5 by 2 the same expansion and this 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 which is 3 times square root of pi over here the denominator numerator is 4 into e to the power minus 40 t to the power 3 by 2 and therefore laplace inverse of e to the power 4 minus 3s f of s is now if you observe this e to the power 4 minus 3s this you can write in write it down as e to the power 4 into e to the power minus 3s e to the power 4 into e to the power minus 3 so e to the power 4 is a constant so it will automatically come out of here so this is what is written here e to the power a which is the outside of laplace inverse because it's a constant with respect to s and the remaining f been replaced by every t has been replaced as t minus 3 because it is e to the power minus of 3s right and therefore the value of a is 3 over here so e to the power minus 4 so e to the power minus 4 t has been replaced as t minus 3 t minus 3 to the power 3 by 2 into multiplicating factor as sorry multiplicating factor or you can say the u of t minus 3 and this is what is the just by the uh, adjusting the terms and just by few uh, adjustments here you will get the final answer as 4 3 square root of pi e to the power minus 4 into t minus 4 it is just this e to the power 4 and e to the e to the power minus 12 has been added up over here and it has been minus of uh, minus minus plus 16 here 
and t to the power three by two u of t minus three. That's all. Nothing, nothing more than that. Just an adjustment of two terms. Uh, then again over here, it's s e to the power minus two s upon s square plus two s plus two. This is again s upon s square plus two s plus two. So Laplace inverse of this. This we have seen in the first shifting theorem. Adjusting the terms, the denominator I have got s plus one. So I need to do it in the numerator as well. And that is why the adjustment has been done here. Plus one, minus one. We are clubbing it, separating the numerators. We'll get this, and then applying the Laplace inverse. Laplace inverse from both the sides. If you observe, this has been taken it at one go. Both the terms, because both the terms are uh, are in the terms of in the uh, as a function of s plus one, and therefore it is uh, lap e to the power minus t because it's a plus one e to the power minus t here. Laplace inverse of s upon s square plus one minus one upon s square plus one. Which is here, uh, which is the Laplace inverse of this, and sine t cos t, uh, cos a t sine a t, and therefore it is e to the power t cos of t minus sine of t, and now every t been replaced as every t been replaced as because it's s e to the power minus two s s we have taken it in the f of s, so we have remained here with e to the power minus two s because it's e to the power minus two s every t has been replaced as, so every t has been replaced as t minus two. In the next, to find out the Laplace inverse along with e to the power minus two s into f of s. So every t has been replaced as t minus two along with u into uh, u of t minus two as a uh, function multiplicating factor over here. And yes, this is the favorite of mine, which is a self observation or self assessment slide. Three questions, answers of them, cross check. Go through the slide. Uh, go through the video if you are not able to solve this. If you have any query, if you are not able to get the answer of any of them, please write me in the comment section so that I could give you the answer at that place. Thank you. Happy learning.